we go. Oh, that was clean as shit. <laughs> oh, that was just so beautiful. <laughs> Turned into sagging. What is it? He bent his face so far. <laughs> What's up, people? It's me. Just me. Just Dre. We are here. Just a little Adonis. Michael Venom Page is the most disrespectful fighter of all time. I don't watch UFC, so I have no good idea who the f that is. So, uh, we're going to see. Shout out to Anthony. Anthony Sloan. For the, uh, request. Let's get it. Baby, you said do da 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 do da da. Baby, you sent me sad adrift on memories, bliss for you. Whoa. Shut up. Well, all right, let's stop the video, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. All right, so boom. I'm sorry that you have to deal with me. History. They have been notorious as outside of the ring or the octagon, but I don't think there is a single person who is more of a showboat during fights than Michael Venom Page. Well, when you beat someone's ass like that, you get to be, I guess. Now, as it pertains to celebrating after fights, you've earned that right if you are victorious. When you knock out your opponent within the first 10 seconds as if they were a cockroach or mosquito, you've earned the right to dust off your gloves. But when you're not even looking at your opponent and dodging his punches, then start break dancing as if you pressed the taunt button on your controller. That's where I draw the line. This kind of behavior never ends well. You've got to have some kind of humility. Me thinks not. I, guess I mean, if you're not going to get into there. the octagon, disrespected this man, his training, and his entire existence, and still proceeded to walk out the winner. Just look at him styling on him. But this brand of cockiness can't continue. Yep. You got knocked out. Right, damn. Now I do what I want. Reset. Now I do what I want. Let's go. Oh, shit. <laughs> God damn! Look, I can't even be mad at him. He winning. God damn! This man received more elbows than the armrest in line, between dude. seats Again. at the movie theater. My bad. And then he proceeded to ask the lifeless vessel, "What are those?" Oh, this bro. man is relentless. <laughs> it's my I'm turn. Intrigued. Finally, this brother on the floor is gonna teach MVP some manners with a leg lock. What did you say, nigga? Looks like you're about to get pwned. <laughs> Look at me, short. I'm the captain now. Not only did he submit him with a reverse ankle lock, he proceeded to style on him too. Jesus Dance. Christ! That's not just my person. MVP hit the ultimate counter button. You tried to submit him with a leg lock only to get submitted with a leg lock of his own. Had him tapping faster than an anxious contestant reaching for the buzzer on an episode of Family Feud. And the craziest thing is MVP is not shy about his cockiness. He's in your face about it. At this point, you gotta respect the fact that he is truly Yo. true to himself. And then he turned into Avatar in this fight and begin water bending. The spin kick alone sent his oh, opponent nice. in search of Hillary Clinton's email. Hey, that, that was how you transmogrify your opponent into a boy scout on a scavenger hunt? Where in tarnation was he going? MVP standing there like perfect cell waiting for the Z fighters to run his fade. Legend has it his opponent lost all five of his senses. He might have been suffering from COVID years before its existence. He's smelling his own body odor. He's tasting his own blood. He didn't get to touch MVP. He didn't see the kick coming and legend has it he couldn't even hear the final bell. Why did nobody tell this man that he was on death row? He involuntarily got executed in the octagon. He didn't even get a chance to eat Hello Fresh as his last meal uh, and now a word nice. from our sponsors when i need to wind down calm down and relax there is no greater therapy for me personally than cooking and eating and nobody does it any better than america's number one meal kit hello fresh they make cooking at home fun easy and affordable Today we're making pork sausage spaghetti bolognese. They make eating healthy so easy with so many locale, carb smart, vegetarian, hey, and even pescatarian options every single week. 
Plus, every recipe is packed with fresh produce sourced directly from farmers. Their selection of food yeah. is getting bigger and better every single week, where they have four or five star it. recipes than any other meal kit on the planet. You've got quick breakfasts and lunches, additional protein, savory sides, and drool-worthy desserts. Their produce gets to your house faster than a grocery store, so it arrives at peak freshness and flavor. The average trip to the grocery store is 41 minutes. With HelloFresh, you can skip those trips and get everything you need to make chef curated meals delivered straight to your door. You can save up to 28% by using HelloFresh rather than going grocery store shopping. For me personally, HelloFresh is the most flexible meal kit on the market. You can add extra dinners and lunches, throw in extra proteins, and even meal complimentary items like their best-selling garlic bread. You can easily change your delivery dates or food preferences or even skip a week whenever you need to. So here I am on the wall once again telling you to click the link in my description. Go to www www.hellofresh.com and use my promo code the chisel 12 to get 12 free meals plus free shipping again the click the link on the www.hellofresh.com and use my promo code chisel 12 and get 12 free meals plus free shipping golly that pork is amazing you kidding me golly y'all yeah, missing out y'all better get on it and now back to your regularly scheduled program. In his professional boxing debut, this man was dribbling oxygen in the ring. It's one thing to shadow box. This man is shadow dribbling. And it appears that this man just got done with a root canal at the dentist. Looks like he just was awakened from anesthesia. He must have been drinking with the APA. He is, is literally the epitome of the drunken fist. Mans look like he trying to keep balance on a surfboard. So I missed. It's my turn. So I missed. Calcum punch. You have to go night night nigga. Get over here. He danced all over the ring and still knocked out his I'll opponent. I'll be shit, man. Eight, nine, ten. The, I mean, the man was just good, man. Success. He shadow dribbled, danced in your face, appeared to act drunk, and still knocked I mean, you out. Shit. Second professional boxing fight of MVP's career. Did he learn his lesson? I guess not. Fuck no. The two piece was faster than cancel culture on Twitter. Calcum punch. Whoa! He's smiling at the camera as his opponent is trying to get up. Round two. Fight. God, this God bro. damn, get Vince McMahon on the phone. Even Lita didn't get on match I mean, this fast. Shit, and he's doing? still uninterested in his opponent care. getting up off the floor. He's already taken the mouthpiece out of his mouth. At this point, somebody needs to humble somebody. this man. Even Aretha Franklin couldn't teach this man about respect. Back to the octagon we go. Oh, that was plain as shit. <laughs> oh, that was just so beautiful. <laughs> Turned into Saget. He bent his face so far inward, his eyes are looking at each other. But then to no. add insult to injury, this man seeked out Professor Oak, put on his hat, took out a poker ball, and tried to catch his opponent. He threw a poker ball at a grown man. You kneecap the soul out of this man's body, then you proceed to treat him like a Pokemon <laughs> gold monster, but oh, in real oh, life... Oh, and there goes the battle! I mean, if you ain't gonna lock him out, then he just We're keep doing this 15 seconds shit. into this man's fight, he's already pressing the taunt button. Hello, friend. <laughs> Know you. Look at him stalking his opponent like he getting ready to do the rock bottom or stone cold stunner. At this point, you know he was going to win the fight. There. Even his opponent is shrugging. Quick. Why not rub some more salt in the wound? This man begins to jump rope. Who raised this man? End of the first round, why talk to the corner when I can stand in the middle of the octagon and dance? How you celebrate during the fight? Round two, fight. Ah, dang. The right hand opened this man's eye that up man better than an ophthalmologist. Man. MVP would tell him, your eye is fucked up. And just look at him. I cannot see, I'm legally blind. I quit. I quit. 
Fuck this shit, I'm out. Mm-mm. Fuck this shit, I'm out. No thanks. What happened? I cannot see I'm legally blind. You want another one? Come at me, bro. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Not only did he make him quit, he grabbed the gauntlet with all of the infinity stones in an effort to erase this man from existence. The way he holding that hand up, you would have thought he was getting ready to do the spin a rooney. I'm a maniac. God, under the Fortnite dance. Okay. Is there anybody on earth who can humble like, this please? man? Like, please? At this point? Enter Douglas there we go. Lima. MVP thought he was going to do him like everybody else. Damn. Oh, shit. It always catches up to you, people. It always catches up to you. Remember that. It always catches up to you, man. Be fucking humble, people. Vindication in the form of kicks and fists. He made sure MVP went straight to sleep. Just when MVP thought he was in the zone, he went to sleep on an advertisement for AutoZone. MVP stepped into the octagon undefeated, but Douglas Lima tried to make sure he wasn't breathing. Even look at discount Eminem in the crowd. That man is flummoxed, bewildered, flabbergasted. Just look at it in slow motion. MVP tried to use Falcon Punch, but never set his feet, and Hitman Lee responded with a low kick of his own. It's super effective, and at this point, the Elite Four's Bruno would withdraw his Hitman Lee, and he'd summon his Hitman Chan. Use Focus Punch! And now finish him. Use Fire Punch, Ice Punch, Thunder Punch, Dynamic Punch, Drain Punch, Tropicana Punch, all of the punches! Do it again. MVP's whited out. Rush him to the Pokemon Center. I don't think he's lost a fight in his entire career. He's undefeated in kickboxing, boxing, and MMA, but Douglas Lima doesn't give a shit. Look at his reaction. When Rule was writing the song Dazed and Confused, he had Michael Venom Page's face in mind. Imagine knocking out Michael Venom Page and giving him his first loss of his career, and 50 Cent only comes inside to give you a bottle of champagne. Ain't that some shit? Legend has it the last thing Michael Venom Page saw before he went to sleep was the Burger King in on the floor. Rumor has it he's been dreaming about Whopper sandwiches ever since. If you look at the view from the floor, you can see the moment his soul left his body. At this very moment, his soul has already left his body and headed to Narnia while his noggin is getting a flogging. Just look at his toes, curling like he's in a climactic state. Just look at his legs, they're super straight. It's so straight, Gen Z is trying to cancel them on TikTok. If I was his ancestors, I'd be upset. You're trying to live through your descendants and all of a sudden you right back at the login menu. Give him a slice of humble pie. He got knocked out from the east to the west. Back to the east. Back to the west. No. Finish him. Lord have mercy. My baby. I mean, and bro. with this victory for Douglas Lima, he'd put Michael Venom Page to sleep. And MVP would go quietly into the night. And he would never actually learn his lesson because in his very next fight he would not change at all he in the ring moving like a upside down cockroach he don't give a shit about his like opponent what? you would have thought getting knocked out would change him not at all one thing about mvp he always gonna be himself I usually respect. after taking a big loss on the biggest stage someone would change up their style but i gotta give credit to mvp he'd never change one bit in the midst of a ground and pound respect. he'd hit the taunt button and celebrate before throwing a left hand it got so bad to the point that the ref had to go and deduct points. It appears that showboating has no place in the octagon. MVP looks absolutely confused. He looking at the official like, What is going on? What the fuck did I do wrong? Tell me. It appears that in this octagon, the referee would lay down the law and say, I'm the man with the black gloves and I'm the one who runs shit inside this eight-sided ring. <laughs> I knew damn bro, come on, you don't know what I need again, you don't know what I need again. He knocked him out anyway. The ref intervened to stop his momentum from taunting, and he still, still walked away it. with the victory. Homie just picked up right where he left off, and he talking shit after the fight. He injected three blunts of marijuana into Jeez. his lower extremity and gave that God brother a high damn. knee. How fitting he landed on the monster insignia. He's gonna need an energy drink. And just look at the yeah. referee standing there hating, upset that MVP walked away with the W. What's hilarious is MVP started dancing before his opponent hit the 
floor. How you hit the taunt button before your controller can even reset after hitting the attack button? High knee had his opponent backpedaling like Deion Sanders in a cover three. And then nice. he proceeded to style on him and all of his ancestors right in the middle of the ring. The level of disrespect just does not stop. But I guess it's fair game because his opponent was talking too much shit and MVP shut him up. My turn! Yeah. <laughs> God damn! Right hand ejected this man from this planet. Oh, he tried to take damn, the Douglas bro. Lima approach and try to hit him with a low kick, but looks like the right hand connected first. But look at his body on its descent to the shadow realm. He gave his whole body erectile dysfunction. Look at his hands reaching for the Lord. Yo, Only sick, thing he bro. hearing is Kanye Listen. West scream, "Father, this stretch my hands." Homie trying to summon a spirit place. bomb in retaliation from the floor, but ain't nobody giving him energy. This man trans transmogrified into a starfish how all your limbs outstretch like this oh, to damn. make matters even worse he left himself wide open i have never seen a kick that looked more choreographed than that attempt right there mvp didn't even hesitate man's fell like the stock market in 2008 showcasing his deodorant for all the wrong reasons got him looking like he just woke up and he's stretching in the morning looking like he doing an abdominal workout after super setting on chest day Somebody clock that brother out. Get him to the hospital. Maybe MVP's next opponent can actually teach him a lesson. Maybe. He nearly punched the beard off this man. His head almost disconnected from his body. And to add insult to injury, turns out MVP's a member of the Akatsuki. If his opponent had a Jinchiriki, it looks like it's been stripped away. Moral of this story, who gives a shit if you get knocked out in front of the whole world? It's impossible for somebody to humble themselves if they're being their true nature. Because at the end of the day, that's Michael Venom Page. Just ninja way. And if you don't like it, well, me to you, go fuck yourself. Period. Yo, that nigga. That nigga, man. I mean, shit. I mean, look, listen. They can't beat your ass, they can't beat your ass, you feel me? It is what it is. It's just that simple. It's just that simple, cause they can't beat your ass, they can't beat your ass, man. What they gonna do about it? Anyway, if you like the video, like, comment, consider subscribing. No matter this thing. Peace. Step on the scene, my nigga some lines and I am the king, can't mess with the team, you can chase dreams, I gotta shot right like an ultra light beam. Yeah, shoot for the top with no hesitation, yeah, I'm trying to get it, yeah, I'm paper chasing. They call me the